Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial 18. It's titled Time is Up. It's a follow-up to tutorial 17, Keeping Score Using Dynamic Text. I have that tutorial 17 on the stage now. And we want to start by opening a new movie clip. Movie clip is selected and call it T-I-M-E-R timer underscore MC. Call this time, T-I-M-E, this layer time and select frame one, pick up your text tool, come up here to the properties panel, make it a static text, which it is, and we want to make it a lot smaller font, down around 15 or 12 or something like that. There's 13, static text, and in here I'm going to write T I M time R E M A I N I N G time remaining equals click off that pick up another text tool again this time make it dynamic text dynamic I'm going to give it a instance name T I M E U P underscore TXT time up text dynamic text there it is and let's put the value of 10 in it and line it up with this right here go to frame 20 insert a keyframe 40 insert a keyframe and continue inserting keyframes until you reach frame 200. So I'm going to pause now and when I have all those up to 200 inserted I will come back. Okay I've inserted keyframes up to 200 and let's go to frame 20. Click on this dynamic text backspace put 9 in here click on frame 40 just, just select this don't worry that this changes this will come back the way it's supposed to backspace put 8 in here just to show you it comes back like it's supposed to that's 8 here in our dynamic text we want 7 7 on the 60 we want 6 here We want five here. Four, getting there. Three. Two. One. And finally, here we want zero. Lock this layer. Insert a layer. Call it Action Script AS. On this frame 200, insert a blank keyframe. On frame 201, insert a blank keyframe. Go. If this frame here came up gray, select it, right click, remove that frame. Select frame 200 of the action script code of the action script layer, open your actions panel and type in this code. It's a strange code. It says movie clip capital M capital C open bracket root R O O T close bracket period go to and stop small g small t capital a capital s 
open bracket 3, close bracket, semicolon. This is all blue, root is blue, and movie clip is blue. This says, when you reach this frame 120, go back to scene 1 and stop on frame 3. Select frame 201 of this action layer. Open the actions panel and put in a stop. S-T-O-P. Open and close bracket, semicolon. Close your, open your ti timeline. Go back to frame one. And watch these numbers down here. Hit enter, and it should count 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Go back to scene 1. Select your, your ball 3 layer. Make sure all the layers are locked. Insert a layer and call it time. Select frame 1 of the times layer. Go open your library panel and drag that timer movie clip right up here. Close it. Open your properties panel. Give it an instance name and we're going to give it the same name as this. T-I-M-E-R underscore M-C. Now if we're going to have some form of code get us back to a frame 3 then we have to make a frame 3 so select the first layer of frame 3 just come right down and make them all blue right click and insert keyframes select the winds layer lock all the layers insert a layer and call it lose select frame 3 insert a blank keyframe and somewhere down here pick up your text tool and we have good red make some text open your properties box make it like a 25 or there's a 29 fault font make it static text and write time is up space you lose type any message you want in there but that's going to be our message time is up you lose now let's just see what this is doing test it Okay, we don't want to hit the boxes. We'll just pull it away. It's counting there. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're back to that time is up. You lose. And we got to get rid of this. You win. So we're back on scene 1. And lock all the layers. And see uh, this wins layer, frame 3. Click on it. Right click. And clear the frame. So it's still there, but there's nothing in it. There we go. There's nothing on it. We've 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 cleared it. Now, if you notice the three movie clips, ball, ball two, and ball three, those three movie clips, those targets, when they're moving around, they disappear on their own. So let's prevent that from happening. Open the library panel. Let's select ball one movie clip first. And go to the very end right here this is where we go we go and tell it to stop when we when we hit it this is where we're stopping when we hit it so let's click here insert a blank keyframe open the actions panel G O T O go to capital A and D S and P L A Y play bracket one bracket semicolon. This is telling it to repeat repeat itself 
and keep repeating itself. Otherwise, it'll just happen. It's only happening once. So let's look at this for a minute. Test the movie. We won't hit them, but you'll see they disappear. The other two. That one just disappeared, and that one just disappeared. But now this one won't disappear until I hit it. So let's do the other two. Copy this. Copy this line. I'm telling you to copy this line of, of code. I think by accident I cut it. So you may see this particular movie clip disappear later on. But make sure you don't cut it. Just copy it. Go back to timeline. Back to the library. Ball 2. Open ball 2 movie clip. Go down to the second last frame here. Insert a blank keyframe. Open the actions panel. Paste it in there so that one will work. Open the library. Get ball 3. Go to the timeline of line th of this movie clip. We're in ball 3 now. Ball 3. Insert a blank keyframe. Open the actions panel and paste that in. Now the balls will continually bounce until they are hit by the square or we run out of time. So let's make sure both those things work. Test the movie. And we'll hit them all first. One, two, three. They're all hit. And that's the time's going. We don't care about that. This takes us back. And we can do it again. Okay. Looks good. Let's go back to scene one for a minute. And let's select the second frame of the action script layer and open the actions panel now down here when we press this button to play it again I don't know if you noticed but we did and the timer kept running so we got to reset that timer movie clip so below ball 3 go play type in this timer underscore movie clip period go to and play frame one and that will start that timer sequence over for us now while we're here go down to the very bottom of this action script there's this single curly bracket click on it drag it right up to the top right click copy Go back to the timeline, select frame 3 of the actions panel, actions layer, and paste it in. Now we're going to make a couple changes. I don't want to use the same name of that button, so I'm going to give it a new instance name. I'm going to call it L for you lose. This is the lose. When you lo lose, you're going to want to play again. And we got to give this a new name, so we're going to go back. It, it's on frame 3 at this time, so we're going to call this frame 3. We'll call this frame 3. I think everything else can stay the same. Let's go back to the timeline. And right here under the buttons layer, unlock the buttons layer. Select the third frame of the buttons layer. And that's this button. Pick up your selection tool, highlight it. Open your properties panel, and where you see again, before the underscore, put an L. So now that's the instance name for that. Let's try this, see what happens. Test a movie. If you notice on these tests, the red ball disappears because I inadvertently removed the go to and play frame one off that movie clip. First, we'll let the time run out, so I'll try not to hit too much. We'll let the time run out. Four, three, two, one. Time ran out, and time is up. You lose. I go begin. We can start completely over. We'll do it twice. Avoid it. Let's hit one there. Hit one. Time is up. You lose. Okay, this time let's hit them all. One, two, get you. Three, you win. 
and watch the time will reset back to one on ten on its own and I think that is working pretty good I just want to let it time on its own once more they're not disappearing that one just hit there I think you lose time is up good I hope you I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.